Sorry, my voice has gone hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit like a normal Saturday night for us, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah. She comes round my house. Every Saturday, we used to do watch X yeah. Factor. Yeah, when I weren't working, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah all right, I'm not saying you're no. unemployed. <laughs> using my electricity, using my toilet. No, you know, the amount of times I've walked into his house and it's been dark and it's like he's saving electricity. It's pitch black. <laughs> you <Because it's been laughs> <laughs> the light's always on. Oh, well, if we're getting into that then, love. Oh, no. <laughs> she brings her dog along. I've um. got this brand new rug. The dog does a shit on the rug. <laughs> Look, I gave her this bit of la la lamb, weren't it? it was I didn't, much... you gave it. You gave, the, the, the... gave a puppy some lamb. Like, oh. lamb kebab. <laughs> the he's building up his only bloody sausage dog. <laughs> and then he goes like this. Oh. All over the bed. <laughs> She's going, uh, uh, get some kitchen roll, get some kitchen oh, roll. Yeah. <laughs> so I run downstairs, oh. give her the kitchen roll. She rips it off. Up her nose. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> now, your new album 21's out next week. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm really anxious, actually. I'm Why really are you excited. Anxious? Just because I was, I tried to bite my tongue a bit on this record, but I ended up being more honest than the first one, and I think it might come back and bite me on the bum. No, it won't. I think it might. It won't. But I'm excited. Um, now, 21 is a breakup album, isn't it? Yeah. What did this man do to you? Because how many songs are there on the album? I mean, how bad can he be? <laughs> <laughs> I think like one was, song um... where you're like, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it was nowhere near as bad as my first boyfriend that my first album was about, because that was something very particular to blame. And this one, we were just really unsure of... Well, we just fell out of love and it stopped being fun, which I find more devastating than mm. when you can say, well, you did, like, fuck some other girl. You know, that's why, <laughs> that's why we're not together. Yeah. Whereas this time, it just went, like, what have I done? You know, and you just sort of... <laughs> <laughs> so I stopped liking each other, um, but he was actually brilliant. I was just very bitter. Yeah. I come to people, like, come to terms with it by the time I do yeah. someone like you on the album. Yeah. But yeah, no, he was all right. So do you always have to make an album about it? Can't you just go? Counselor. <laughs> 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 but it's cheaper to write an album about it. Well, I don't pay for making an album. Someone else pays for that, so it's cheap to me. But um, no, I just the only running theme so far. But hopefully it won't. Hopefully I won't be married and be like, darling, we need a divorce. Write <laughs> right, another album or nothing. But uh, <laughs> that'd be really bad. And quite it? cold, to be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your first one was called 19 yeah. and had your face on the front. <laughs> and this yeah. one's my eyelash. I had my eyelash. On yeah. It. Yeah, okay. This one's called 21. Yeah. And it's got my got... whole face on it yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no eyeball. No, no, no you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you make these like, albums for, like, for ID in pubs and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> it is me, look. It's me as well. <laughs> No, 21, I'm, I feel like a proper adult now. I had an amazing, really grown-up relationship and I, um, it was the only fitting, relevant title. Yeah, but it, is this going to carry on, though, because you're starting a dangerous thing? I mean, look, this is what you were like when you were 87, look. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you're evil. <laughs> you're evil. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> I don't know if I'll use the age thing forever. I kind of dismissed it last time. Um, it's funny, cos uh, although you're, like, so successful over here, people don't realise, in America, you are, like, huge. Now, she comes to my house and then she's like, oh, have another drink. Oh, no, I'm going to America on Monday. I'm like, oh, OK. Switch on the telly, you're on Oprah, <laughs> you're on Ellen, you're on Ugly Betty. I mean, you've got this amazing life. You're like a little Cockney Hannah Montana. <laughs> 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 No, but you have, and it? You're, you're it went really well there. It was really, um, I just, most like, I didn't even think I'd released my first album there. Mm. And I did. And then um, I did Saturday Night Live and it literally just like catapulted. It was. And that's with Sarah Payne. Yeah, isn't it? I thought she was Tina Fey. I didn't. <laughs> but I knew Tina Fey was going to be there, but I d yeah. didn't know Sarah Payne was going to be there. Every everyone else yeah. I worked with knew, but I get really bad stage fights, so they didn't tell me. So I turned up, I was like, Tina, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> But her security guards had to like kind of branch me out of the way a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, it just it changed everything, and yeah. it was I haven't been able to keep up since really. Uh, you actually met Sarah Palin. What's she like? She's uh, really small, 
Oh. Yeah, she... <laughs> <laughs> I had... No, not Baudelaire and Dwarf. Well, I had this... I had this... I had an Obama badge on there. You did. And she came to that height, so she was sort of staring at her, like, sort of competition <laughs> on my tit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she was really sweet. She wanted to come backstage and meet us for, uh, like before the thing, but everyone that works with me is quite gay. And um, they yeah. don't like her, and she, she doesn't really like them very much either. Oh, right. So um, I, didn't awkward, let, I didn't let, I didn't want her to come in then, yeah. Because <laughs> they were like, I won't paint your face if she comes in. <laughs> so uh, what about to go on looking like that 87? Oh my God, hello. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, but she was really sweet. Yeah. She was, I mean, you know, she wasn't talking to me about politics. She was just no, saying hi. No. I just like the fact of her going in the dressing room and a load of gays in the corner scowling. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the only awkward um No, I've had quite a lot. Oh, I know, you are like... It's like carry on Adele. <laughs> <laughs> and is it true you nearly killed P. Diddy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't as serious. I think I might have got a bit carried away when I was telling the story once. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a motor mouth, I can talk forever. Um, but no, I was um, on a video shoot and they um, gave me a golf buggy, which is quite, quite lethal, because I'm not very good. And I was driving past this other little studio, it's like one of the ones where there's loads of studios on one plot. Mm. And he's out there doing a fragrance commercial or something. But I was uh, driving and I meant to sort of slow down, like quite, like, quite <laughs> suavely, and be like, hey, you're P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of the accelerator, I went, oh my God, don't wait, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right, because I mean, the way I told it before, I think I made out, like, <laughs> actually hit him and I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're bringing up Sheila's wheels. I've just killed Pete, did he? <laughs> <laughs> and that happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were a, uh, a pupil at the Brit School. Yeah. Now, I don't know, what's, what goes on at this Brit School? Is it like a normal school? Do you do, like, lessons or is it just, like, no, double jazz hands? And... Yeah, it's like that. No, it's for performing arts, but there's lots of different ones. Like, you don't have to do double jazz hands if you don't want to, but yeah. there is musical theatre or there's just dance, just theatre, just music. Yeah. So I went to the open day and it was exactly like fame. People, like, kind of miming in hallways. <laughs> And people didn't hear it. And, oh, you know what the worst thing was, right? The music department was below the dance department and you go and sit on the bench and there'd be a dance with her leg like, up behind her head. Put <laughs> me down there, eating my white bread. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, uh, I, I loved it, it was amazing. Was Leona Lewis at your, in your she class? She was there, I think I was year 10 when she was year 13 or 12. But she must never have sung because, I mean, you'd know if you heard her sung. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she, yeah. I think she must have been like uber quiet. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but well, I, she I like have, like, my, my imagination runs off and sometimes I imagine, like, walking past her. <laughs> you might have walked past her, cos she's so quiet. But she's, she was like, I remember at school, cos I saw her about a year and a half ago for Divas in New York. Yeah. And she was talking to me about it and I was just like, oh. couldn't remember. But I reckon her imagination was probably lying as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you're performing Rolling in the Deep later. Yeah. I can't wait. And, uh, 21 is out next week. Yes. Give it up for the amazing Adele! <laughs> Five stars, four fingers. Uh... <laughs>